Assalamu alaikum dear children. I hope you are all fine and enjoying your online lessons as well as your time in school. I am here with another lesson in language today. The topic for today's lesson is alphabetical order. Let's get started. Let's quickly go through the objectives of today's lesson. By the end of the lesson, you should know what is alphabetical order, understand its importance and order words to the second and third letter. My dear children, arranging or sorting a list according to the alphabetical order is called alphabetizing. So when we alphabetize a list, we simply place the letters in regular order, that is the regular ABC. So my children, you must be thinking, why do we need to alphabetize a list? Well, here is what alphabetizing helps us in. It helps us to search up contacts. It helps us to find words in dictionary. It helps us to look up the books in the library. It can also help us to locate files on a computer and find word in index or glossary. And finally, it also helps us to research for topics in encyclopedia. Now let's look at the steps to alphabetize a list. Step number one, arrange the words according to their first letter. For example, we have the words cream, apple, and banana. We are going to simply follow the ABC order, so we get apple, banana, and cream. Step number two. If the first letters are the same, arrange words according to the second letter. For example, we have the words send, sack, and sick. Now here, since the first letter in all three words is the same, we would go for arranging the second letter. So, we would get sack, send, and sick. Step number three. If the second letters are the same, we are going to use the third letter. For example, we have the words supper, suit, and sunny. Now here, as you can see, the first and second letters are the same. So, we would go for arranging the third letter. And we would get suit, sunny, and supper. So, dear students, if you happen to look upon information about a duck, rabbit, and a cat in an encyclopedia, in which order would you look for it? That's right. The first animal you would find is cat, as it begins with k, followed by duck with a d, and rabbit with an er. Ali is going through his contact list on the phone. In which order would Saad, Bilal and Faraz appear? Yes, he would find Bilal first, then Faraz and finally Saad. Now let's look at another example. In which order would you find the words fox, fish and frog in an index? As you can see, the first letter in all these words is the same. So we are going to go with step number two, that is looking for arranging the second letter. So this way we would find fish, fox and frog in an alphabetical order. In which order do you think would you find information about how to play soccer, swimming and squash in a book? Again, we are going to go with step number two, that is looking at the second letters while we arrange them. So this way we would find soccer, squash, and swimming. In which order would the information about cheese, chips, and chocolate appear in a non-fiction text? As you can see, the first two letters in all these words are the same. So we are going to look at the third letter of each word. So this way we would find cheese, chips, and chocolate in alphabetical order. Sarah is making an alphabetical list of her toys. In which order would she write ship, shovel, and shark? Again, by following rule number three, we would look at the third letter, so we would get shark, ship, and shovel in alphabetical order. I hope you've understood the concept by now, and if not, you can always go back and listen to the presentation once again till your concepts are concrete. 
Now, on the next few slides, try to alphabetize the words that are mentioned in a list. Remember to refer to your ABCs. Now here we have a mixed up list. It says kind, can, owl and mouse. When we arrange them according to the alphabets, we get the alphabetized list that says can, kind, mouse and owl. Let's have a look at another mixed up list. Million, meadow, mouse, mug. When we arrange them according to the alphabetical order, we get meadow, million, mouse and mug. Let's have a look at another example. Sound, soft, soap and soccer. As you can see, the first two letters in all the words are the same. So we are going to go with step number three to alphabetize them like soap, soccer, soft and sound. MashaAllah. Well done, children. To make sure you've understood the topic well, look for some difficult words in one of your English books. Then make a list of five of those words on a paper. Go get a dictionary and look for their meanings. In which order would you look for them? Well, that's it for today. I will see you in another exciting lesson very soon. Till then, take care, stay safe, and Allah Hafiz.